Once upon a time, in a small town, there lived a group of friends, Lily, Max, Mia, and Jack. They loved tinkering with machines and building new things. One day, they came up with an exciting idea to build their own robots. They all gathered in Lily's backyard, which had a big table and lots of tools, to get started. Lily had a plan for her robot. She wanted it to be pink and sparkly, with long arms and legs and a big heart in the middle. Max, on the other hand, wanted his robot to be green and strong, with huge wheels and powerful arms. Mia's robot was going to be blue and cute, with big eyes and small arms that could move quickly. Jack's robot was going to be red and fast, with a sleek body and jet engines for legs. The friends worked hard all day, cutting and hammering, soldering and painting, until their robots were ready. They named their robots Pinky, Greeny, Bluey, and Reddy, and they were all very proud of their creations. That night, they decided to take their robots out for an adventure. They wanted to explore the forest at the edge of town, which was said to be full of mysteries and secrets. So they strapped their robots onto their backs and set out. The forest was dark and eerie, with strange noises coming from the trees. But the friends were not afraid, with their robots by their side. Pinky led the way, her long arms swaying with every step. Greeny followed, his huge wheels crushing the twigs and leaves underfoot. Bluey skipped along, her big eyes shining with excitement. And Reddy raced ahead, his jet engines leaving a trail of sparks behind. They came across a river, which was too wide to jump across. Pinky had an idea. She stretched out her arms and created a bridge, with her heart glowing brightly in the center. The friends crossed the bridge safely, marveling at Pinky's ingenuity. As they continued on their adventure, they encountered a group of squirrels who were stuck in a tree. Greeny used his powerful arms to lift the squirrels down, while Bluey comforted them with her gentle voice. Reddy kept watch, scanning the forest for any danger. Suddenly, they heard a loud noise coming from deep within the forest. It sounded like a monster. The friends huddled together, scared for a moment. But then they remembered their robots, and they knew they could handle anything. They crept forward, following the sound. Soon, they saw a huge creature with sharp claws and a fierce roar. It was a robot, but a very different one from theirs. It was covered in rust and cobwebs, with broken wires sticking out. It looked like it had been abandoned for a long time. The friends knew they had to help the sad and lonely robot. They approached it slowly, not wanting to scare it. Pinky held out her arms, offering a hug. Greeny offered to fix its broken parts. Bluey sang a soothing song, and Reddy used his speed to find materials to repair the robot. Slowly but surely, they fixed the robot, and it came to life again. It was so grateful to the friends for helping it, and it joined them on their adventure. They all walked back to town together, the friends and their robots. When they reached Lily's backyard, they were tired but happy. They had had an amazing adventure, and they had made a new friend. They all hugged each other, and then they said goodnight to their robots. Pinky, Greeny, Bluey, and Reddy all went to sleep, dreaming of their next adventure. The next morning, the friends woke up early and rushed to Lily's backyard to play with their robots. They had so much fun controlling them and making them do tricks. Pinky twirled around, Greeny lifted heavy rocks, Bluey played a tune on a tiny piano, and Reddy zoomed around at lightning speed. But then, they realized that something was wrong. The robot they had fixed yesterday was missing. They searched high and low, but it was nowhere to be found. The friends were worried that it had wandered off into the forest again. They decided to go back into the forest to look for their missing robot friend. This time, they brought tools and supplies with them, just in case they needed to fix anything. They set off into the woods, following the same path they had taken the day before. After a while, they heard a faint humming sound. It was coming from deep within the forest. They followed the sound until they came across a clearing. And there, in the center of the clearing was their missing robot friend. But something was different about it. It was now covered in shiny new parts, and it had a new coat of paint. It looked happier and more vibrant than ever before. The friends were amazed at the transformation. 
They asked the robot how it had managed to repair itself. The robot explained that it had followed their example and used the tools and supplies they had left behind. It had been determined to make itself better and had worked tirelessly through the night to do so. The friends were overjoyed at their robot friend's ingenuity and perseverance. They realized that they had not only built robots, but they had also taught them important values like kindness, cooperation, and determination. As they walked back to town, the friends knew that they would always be there for each other and for their robot friends. They had learned that even the smallest beings could make a big difference in the world. From that day on, the friends continued to have many more adventures with their robots, and they always remembered the lessons they had learned. And as they drifted off to sleep each night, they knew that their robot friends were right by their side, ready for whatever adventures lay ahead. The End <laughs>